Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's right. I'm Mike Tyson. The most brutal and most vicious champion that's ever been. And today is a very special day because I'm going to show you the proper way to do the Tyson squat. So stay tuned and pay attention. That's the best ever. I'm the most brutal and most vicious and most ruthless champion has ever been. There's no one can stop me. Okay, so I've got some bad news and I've got some good news. The bad news first is that I'm not going to be able to keep up the Tyson accent for the duration of this video. However, the good news is that we're going to learn this Tyson squat, which is probably one of the most brutal techniques you can do with a rope. It really burns the legs and therefore it makes it a great workout. Um, I like to do it in sets and do rounds of them but you can also throw them in with your freestyle routines as well. So, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the technique, the steps uh, needed to complete the technique or perform the technique. Um, and then right at the end, I'm gonna point out one specific detail that um, I've seen a lot of people aren't, aren't quite grasping yet. So, I feel it's on me to try and put my word out there, um, address it, and you know help us get back on the right track make sure we're doing this technique with the with the right mechanics and getting the most out of it so i'm gonna find somewhere to put this camera okay so let's talk about this tyson squat the tyson squat is essentially broken down into three parts right you have your side swing when you're swinging out of the squat you have your jump into the rope and you have your actual squat okay so unlike um, an ordinary jump through the rope you're actually getting down a bit lower well not a bit lower actually a lot lower and you're staying in that sort of squat jump region um, I'm sure many of you have done squat jumps before so you have a vague idea of what that involves and yeah, you really get the quads, the glutes, the hammies all firing as you're working. So, um, we're going to break this down, okay? So, the way we're going to do this is we're going to start off with our side swing transition out of jumps and into jumps, okay? Regular jumps, we're not talking squat jumps. Um, once we understand how to do it with a regular jump, we'll then understand how to do it with a squat jump. If you checked out my other video on side swing um, transitions, one of the first ones we went through was transitioning out of um, jumping into a side swing and then transitioning from the side swing into jumping again. So take a look at that one if you need a refresher. Nice and slow to start with. Just up. Okay. Now you'll notice for the exit, you go from skipping like this to just bringing your following hand underneath the dominant hand and then dominant hand takes the lead with those swings okay i'll link that up somewhere i believe it should be in that corner um or that corner <sighs> okay cool so we're gonna do some regular skipping and then transition really quickly <laughs> So you notice that you go from your regular skip with the open rope and you transition by just coming out into that side swing, swinging again, swinging again and then opening up that rope uh, one more time. Now as you'll remember, um, to transition out of the jump into that side swing, you merely take one hand to join up with the other and you want your dominant hand to be on top um, if you're first starting out. If you've been able to master the side swing with your right hand or your left hand leading then you just need to pick one hand or one side to go to 
but if, if you're just starting out and you're just mastering the technique you're probably only doing a side swing with one hand on top and therefore um, <coughs> excuse me therefore you need to just go out to your normal side swing on your normal side okay um, quickly run through how to do this you're going from this skip and you're just bringing that hand underneath your dominant hand and continuing the side swings again in swing open in swing open now you notice with with the open it's pretty much the reverse of the transition out of the side swing when you transition out of the side swing you just bring one hand underneath and then you swing but when you're transitioning into jumping from here you leave one hand out ideally if it's on your right side as it is for me here you leave your right hand out and open your left if you're on your left side you leave your left hand out and open your right okay once you've got that rhythm down try and play with speeds try and pick up the speed a bit that will make you feel a bit more confident in what you're doing so um, I want to do a quick demo start off really slow and then pick up the speed Right, so that's, that speed is really to help you build up your confidence with the rope. Um, once you've gotten used to that movement of transitioning in and out of the side swing into your jumps, um, then you can throw the squats in and really start working. <laughs> I'd recommend um, going for one or two and then taking a break and then work and then going back in again work your way up to greater strength so I'm going to demonstrate now I'm going to do two squat jumps and then go into <clears throat> go into some regular um, standing skipping then go down into two squat jumps again um, I'll throw in some slow mos as well so you can see things in slow motion and get a better idea of what I'm banging on about so here we go Right, and as with everything else, um, the recommendation is always to go from being able to do something on one side to working on doing it on the other side as well. So, if you've been able to master your both your side swings, both sides, really good. In that case, you'll be able to do um, side swings on the left. Sorry, squat jumps with your side swings to the left, the squat jumps with your side swings to the right. As follows. Okay, and that's that. Make sure you're mindful of what you're doing because this technique is a lot of small parts that are being put together you want to start off really slowly paying attention to each part and then gradually pick up the speed as you're comfortable with the routine also bear in mind that at all times when we're skipping we want to be on the balls of our feet okay when you're squat jumping um, without a rope regular squat jumping or box jumps you land on the flat of your foot okay with this squat jump technique that's not a good idea stay on the balls of your feet at all time all times I'm gonna demonstrate um, improper improper foot positioning and footwork with this technique and then I'm gonna demonstrate how you should do it okay I think I think I'll do it with a side on angle this time so you can see it. So this is what not to do
Please, don't. Stay on the balls of your feet. All right. This prevents that jarring and that um, uncomfortable traveling of force right up through the leg, going up through the ankle, up, up through the knees. It's no good. We need to use our ankle more as a hinge, like, like a door hinge. It just needs to bounce slightly and just needs to allow the force to be transmitted through. Bear that in mind. Don't get too bogged down in your squat technique and your side swings. Um, that you forget about the foot. The, the foot is the positioning and the jumping technique of the foot is most important in terms of avoiding long-term injuries. So make sure you bear that in mind. Okay, now at the beginning of the video I said there was an aspect of this technique that I was going to address that I've seen a lot of people making errors with and so um, I feel it's, it's my duty to sort of put this out there and help to improve um, the way we're doing our techniques and that is with the side swing the problem I'm seeing is that um, a lot of people as they do the side swing their rope is slapping the ground okay and this is because they're not adjusting the positioning of their side swing if you remember in a previous video uh, the video on how to increase your jump rope speed and where your hands should be positioned. The video on hand positioning, I'm gonna link up in the corner. Um, we spoke about keeping your hands at hip level because that's the center of the rotation of the rope, right? We wanna think of our hip bone area as the midpoint of our body as we stand upright. And therefore that should be the center of the rotation of the rope. Now, when you're doing a squat jump, because you're going, you're lowering your um, hip level, the center of the rotation of the rope is no longer that hip level. Okay, you need to move, you need to move your hands upwards slightly to make sure you're not slapping the rope. What I'm going to do is first, I'm going to demonstrate this so-called slapping of the rope, and it, and and. Don't get me wrong, it's an easy mistake to make, okay? It's natural. When you get into certain habits, um, they're hard to break out of. But try to make this adjustment and you'll be much better for it. So first, I'm gonna demonstrate slapping the rope on the ground, and then I'm gonna de demonstrate the adjustment you should make to avoid that. So here's slap. Okay. Now you could, he you could hear that um, you could hear that that didn't sound too pretty and that's because we're keeping our hands at our hip bone level and what's happening is you're having all of this part of the rope hit the making contact with the ground okay when it should just be just that area just this area should make contact we're having this whole part of the rope make contact with the ground it's slapping the ground it's breaking the momentum of our rotations and it's no good. So what you want to do, you want to bring your center of rotation of the rope higher. So when you're doing your side swings for this technique, your hands aren't down here anymore. They should be up to your chest, okay? And the brilliant thing about this is, with your hands raised, you're working more of the upper body. You're working these biceps. you're working these uh, pectoral muscles. So here's a demonstration for the fix. We're not down here. Right here. Winning. Right, so what you're doing is you're adjusting your hand positioning from here up to about here, okay? <sighs> so I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know down in the comments if you've had that issue of slapping the ground with the rope. It's quite a common issue and it's, and it's understandable. Um, it, but it's just it's not very helpful because because <coughs> it's not correct technique because you're breaking the momentum of the rope if you want to hit high speeds with this technique which I'm sure you will at some point um, constantly slapping the rope on the ground 
and killing the momentum isn't gonna help. So work on that hand positioning. Just keep in mind, keep in mind, what is the um, circle that my rope is forming as it rotates, okay? And where is that center? When you're stood up, the center is around your hip bone. That's all good. When you're down in a squat, you need to bring that up a bit. Otherwise you're whacking the ground and it's not fair on the rope. We need to treat our ropes with love and care and the ropes will love and care for us also. Even if that means they slap us on the back, on the calves and on the head sometimes. But I think that's just their way of expressing their love for us. Thanks a lot for tuning in. All the best with your training and stay raging. What's up guys? I'm Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's right. Mike Tyson, the most ruthless and most vicious champion. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? I'm Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's right. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's right. I'm Mike Tyson. Right. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's right. Mike Tyson. And today's a very special day because Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's right, Mike Tyson. And I'm gonna show you how to do the Tyson squat. So stay tuned. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? I'm Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's right, I'm Mike Tyson. And today's a very special day because I'm gonna show you guys how to do the Tyson squat the right way. So stay tuned and pay attention.